Ah, uh, Thanksgiving. Time to spend with family. The one time of year where completely normal people will stab each other for $50 off a TV. And this year, the release of Disney Pixar's newest film, Coco. If you have not seen Coco yet, there are some major spoilers ahead, so click away quickly. Now, I knew Coco was not the type of movie for me because I hate sad movies, and I knew that Pixar dealing with the Day of the Dead was going to be heart-wrenching, and my theory was correct. Sure, it's that sweet, sentimental kind of heart-wrenching, but here I am, a grown woman over 30 in a theater trying to hold back tears so hard my throat was burning. I just wanted to scream out in agony over the feels! To summarize for those of you who haven't seen Coco but choose not to click away, Coco is about a boy in Mexico and his family, both living and dead. Through some unusual circumstances, Miguel plays a guitar that belonged to Ernesto de la Cruz, a famous singer and actor, which transports Miguel to the land of the dead. To get back home, Miguel has to receive a blessing from one of his deceased relatives, which his great-great-something Granny Imelda is happy to give him, but with stipulations that Miguel can never play music again due to this five-generation-long family grudge against musicians. Miguel, who loves music, rebels against this idea and goes to seek out his great-great-grandfather, Ernesto, to get his blessing instead. Along the way, Miguel meets Hector, another member of the dead, who can't visit the land of the living because no one has his photograph displayed in a memorial and insanity ensues from there. I have to say the surprise of Hector being the long lost grandfather and not Ernesto was something I had figured out a few minutes into the movie. Pixar Scooby-Dooed it where they railroaded you so hard to believe one thing and it was solved way too early in the movie, which almost always means that the opposite, of course, is going to be true. But those plot point issues are a video for another day. What I want to talk about this time is Hector's photo. While we aren't given many rules for how the afterlife works in Coco, or what exactly the dead did before photographs were invented, but we do know that, uh, the skeletons, ghosts, zombies, I'm not sure the proper term for this occasion, but the dead are able to bring physical items back over into the spirit world, and while the movie doesn't specify, it seems safe to assume that the dead take whatever they had on them at the time of their death to the other side. So clothing, maybe a wallet, things on their person or buried with them. Here's the problem though. Hector has a photo of himself, something that no one would be carrying on them during their own lifetime. I mean, could you imagine being an adult with children carrying around a rather large photograph of yourself? And Hector wasn't famous, he didn't have fans, and photographs were really expensive back then. So there's no way that Hector was carrying that around in case he ran into a fan. Plus, Ernesto stole everything everything that Hector had, and it's implied that Ernesto told no one that Hector even died, probably to the point of throwing his body in a ditch or a dumpster or a shallow grave, which is why Hector's family was so angry and never knew when or how he passed away. So, if Hector didn't die with a big picture of himself in his pocket, and he's not able to cross the Marigold Bridge to steal a photo of himself, then where did the photo come from? The dead turn into skeletons as soon as they enter the afterlife afterlife, so Hector didn't get a selfie done on the other side either. That leaves only one reasonable answer left. Imelda died carrying it. When Imelda and Hector meet in the film, we see that Imelda wants nothing to do with Hector and won't even let him speak. There appears to be the suggestion that Hector has attempted talking to Imelda before, but she is a very strong woman with a grudge, and she would not forgive Hector's betrayal of leaving his family to pursue a musical career. But just just because Imelda was angry doesn't mean that she didn't still love Hector. As we see, minutes after Imelda finds out about the circumstances of Hector's death, she isn't forgiving, but her main rage is directed at Ernesto, to where Imelda even screams that he murdered the love of her life. So Imelda never got over Hector, and since his death was probably hidden, I bet she hoped for her entire life that he would return to them. Keep in mind, despite how we see Imelda act, it's often said that the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. Because if you hate someone, you are still giving them your energy. They still have a power over you. So, while Imelda was rightfully bitter about her 
husband leaving, she also loved and missed him terribly. And I'd bet you anything that Imelda's the one who cursed that guitar too, which is how Miguel ended up in the land of the dead in the first place. And that's also why Ernesto died while playing it, didn't bring it to the other side with him, and how Imelda was able to break the curse because she was the one that placed it. And after you've spent your entire life telling everyone to forget another person, it's kind of hard to turn around and admit that that person still has a power over you. And so when Imelda passed away, she had a secret picture of the love of her life Hector on her, one that she probably always carried in secret. And she took that photo with her to the afterlife. However, after seeing Hector in person on the other side, Imelda was so upset that the goofy Hector wanted to be all, my love, my sugar, baby, darling, honey, instead of apologetic for what he put his wife and daughter through. So Imelda threw the picture at him and refused to give Hector the time of day again. With Imelda unwilling to overlook Hector's giant mistakes, he went on to fixate on the only other person he had in his life, his daughter Coco. Except, without the memorial photo in the real world, Hector was stuck and completely alone for decades. Yeah, I might be overthinking it, but that's literally my job. Well, that's all I have for now, but this video's not quite over yet. I get a lot of comments that say, do a theory on this topic, but I've already done those theories. So please consider going to my main channel page and clicking on the video tab so that way you can see everything I've done. You will probably find a lot of things you like that you never even knew that I posted. I wanna let you know that I also have two other channels, Say Halo Goodbye Gaming and The Family Family Vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed enough to hit subscribe and share. I can use all the help I can get to let other people know that this channel exists. And if you made it this far, leave me a comment that says something like, hey, I made it to the end. And then let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. I can't make any promises, but the more people that request something, the more I can look into it. Okay, well, I love you. I'll see you in the next video.